Hello, happy Friday. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, I thought I would do a weekend vlog of just, you know, day to day life that will hopefully provide a bit of entertainment, insight into my, you know, we like daily life. Um, so I'm currently just, just finished work. Sorry, I was crossing the road, but I still am. So I have just finished work and I am just heading back to the car. Had a pretty good day at work. If you don't know, I work in a interior design studio. We do like retail design management and stuff like that. Um, had a couple of dramas coming in, and which I always love. I am kind of a construction project manager type thing. Um, I find it really difficult to explain what I do, even to like friends and family, but let's call it that. One second. But yeah, all good. We, in the middle of the day, did a mindfulness meditation. There was a event like through the Free Mental Chamber, which was a like health and wellness event. And we did a, yeah, meditation, like guided meditation middle of the day. My boss is on the like chamber. Shut up, this car so annoying. My um, boss is like on the chamber committee. So we get roped into all of these events. So yesterday we did a um, sunset yoga, like sun salutation on the beach, which was just, I'll put a little clip in um, here. And it was just stunning. Like if I can find some classes that do sunset yoga, I will like on the beach. I really, really want to try it. Uh, it was just so, I felt so good afterwards, so calm. Um, and then today's was really good. It was a, um, just a half hour mindfulness meditation, which in the middle of the day on a Friday is just amazing. Um, and then on Friday afternoons, we have wine and recently cheese and salamis and like bread and stuff like that um, from 4 p.m. So feeling pretty cruisy. I'm gonna drive home now. Takes me about 40 minutes-ish. And then what am I going to do tonight? I think, so Jake's on night shift all weekend, which is a bit of a pain. And then it is gym. I've got a Shein order, which is, it's arrived today. So I am so excited to do it. I think I'll do a try on with you guys later. Um, yeah, big gym sesh, dinner, drop Jake off at work, watch some shit TV and go to sleep. Uh, and then tomorrow I've got a bit of a fun day, um, a bit of a solo day, unless my friend can make it. Should be a pretty good weekend. I'm looking forward to this. I feel like it's been a good week. It's been cruisy. I'm feeling good. So yeah, drive home now. Bye. Exciting. My Shein order arrived. Whee! Yay. Exciting. Hello. I will quickly go through what I got. The good news is so far it looks like what I ordered, if that makes sense. Like the right things have turned up. Um, Cause yeah, this is Shein or Shine. I've heard some people say it Shine or Sheen or Shane. I don't know how to, I've always said Shein. Never done an order from them before because very suspicious of the quality, but a load of things came up on my Facebook and I was like, mm. So I thought I would give it a go. Okay, first thing, I'll put pictures up on screen of what they're like supposed to look like. We have this shirt. The thought is tucked in, you know, like to denim shorts or whatever. I don't know what material it is. It feels like it would make you stink if you sweated in it. 100% polyester, machine wash cold. We'll see. I don't know how I even feel about the design. Next one is this dress. Again, I'll do a picture. That's Jake's alarm waking him up for his um, night shift. Weird, the zips are all undone, which makes me think that someone else has tried these on first. This, the colours are a bit brighter than I was anticipating, but I don't hate it. How does that go? Oh, and then that's, what is this boob flap for? <laughs> what the hell is that extra bit of fabric for? That could be very strange. We'll see. This dress I've actually have seen on someone on it, like a friend of a friend on Instagram. Um, and I was like, interesting. And I've been wanting this for a while. Material again, slightly shiny. 
it's a very like shapeless dress, but I thought it might be comfy. We'll see. <laughs> Said that about all of them. Nothing I'm in love with yet. Let's see what material this is as well. 100% polyester again. I hope I'm not wasting my money. Okay, next we've got a bikini, which is actually a like bikini and then a little sarong. It comes in a very cute little bag. I quite like this. It's small, but so are my boobies. So <laughs> I really like that actually. If it fits, I'm a bit worried that it might be a bit small, but <laughs> which way around do these pads go? That way, I guess. A very cheeky bum, but I think that's going to be really flattering. And a cute little sarong. This, I think, is most likely to be... That bikini, I think, is going to be a winner, as long as the top fits. Okay, I'm going to try things on. Um, see you in a second. So this one is the one which I'd seen a while ago. It needs, obviously, an iron. I think it's quite cute. It it makes a rustly noise. Yeah, no, I like it. I think with heels, cute. Um, but also with, you know, sandals, trainers, whatever. I'll have to see how we go in the heat with it. Um, I don't think it's one for a really sweaty day. But yeah, I don't mind it. It's quite comfy and like I needed some that were a bit baggy. Um, especially for work, I don't want to wear like short dresses or anything too tight or anything. Whereas I think this is quite good. Let me know your thoughts, but only if you're going to be relatively nice because I'm going to keep, I think I'll probably keep all of it because I don't know what the Shein returns are like. So yeah, let me know. Damn it, this one's too small for me. Um... And I feel ridiculous. I feel like I should be at least 10 years younger. Um, it's very short. It, <laughs> yeah, it's just not very flattering. But also, it's got these really weird, like, it's got the boob bits, but it's got a weird, like, who wants that? I could do it with a slightly smaller bra and see, this one's got a bit of padding in, so I might try with a different bra, but, <laughs> and the arms, are the arms supposed to be? Off the, uh, mm, mm. Hello. With a different. Oh, oh maybe. <laughs> no, I mean, I look like I'm gonna go party, party. This is definitely. I mean, for holiday. A very like European holiday vibe. Let me try with a different bra. Okay, okay. So this is with a smaller bra. It's very cute. It's supposed to be sleeves up, but that does nothing for me. So sleeves down. I think it's cute. Um, I don't know when I would wear it, but I'll put the price on the screen. It was cheap as chips. So, and I think the print's really cute. It's very like holiday-y, but also and, like bright, but also my color scheme. Let me know. This... Actually, yeah, that bit you can't see. And then this bit is also adjustable. <laughs> this is the shirt, but bear with. I'm thinking, I've got denim shorts on, a half tuck. Quite like it. Bear with, white jeans incoming. Or white jeans. And I've put heels on. I think this is the sort of thing that I would get. Obviously, it needs an iron. Um, I think I would get a lot of wear out of this. Yeah, I don't have many like cool long sleeve shirts. Um, and this definitely fits the bill. I think it's cool. I like it. Hello, explicit content warning. I'm in a bikini. Look away. Hello. Um, unfortunately, the strap broke as soon as I put it on. Cups are a bit small. This is completely pointless. Um, but it's, it's very cute. Like, I would size that up. Um, I'm not going to because I can't be asked. And I think this, like, the top fits okay enough. I just need to re-sew that. Very annoying that I have to sew it. But, yeah, I really like the print, though. It's a, um, like, leopard printy kind of tone. So, yeah, not bad. Again, price will be down here. So, pretty cheap. <laughs>
I'd call that a pretty good effort. <laughs> if you ever wonder one of the reasons why I don't vlog very much, it's because the apartment always looks like this. <laughs> Especially when Jake is on an annoying shift pattern. We quite often have it where when I am in, he's asleep, so I have to be like tiptoeing around. Um, and also just generally like, I feel like I don't, I mean, I'm a very messy person, but I feel like I don't have time to tidy up after myself. Um, but yeah, I've just dropped Jake off at work and now I'm going to eat some dinner. Realistically, I'm gonna watch some TV and then I will tidy this up maybe later, maybe tomorrow. It's gonna be tomorrow. I'm so bad. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna win any awards for being the wildest Friday night ever, but here we have um, just a quick stir fry that Jake made with some fried rice. I've got goggle box, which is my absolute favorite. Um, oh, it's just so like comforting whenever I'm homesick or even just if I'm not like it is just so comforting to me to watch the English Gogglebox even if I've not been watching the English TV programs I mean these days they have loads of you know Netflix stuff but it also helps keep me updated on English programs um I watch it on YouTube they generally they get uploaded pretty soon after they've shown and then they get deleted very quickly um, but I kind of watch them whilst they're up because they're probably a little bit naughty, but there's no other way to watch it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tuck in and tuck in because I'm excited for this. ready and today I'm quite excited for my plans today actually. There's a couple of um, little like warehouse sales or like street sales that randomly came up on my Instagram um, adverts. So I'm going along to those. One of them is Favourite Daughter which is in Inglewood and then the other one is Ango Angove Street Collective in North Perth. Um, both are clothing and the Angove Street one is also homewares like gifts, picnic stuff like all of that sort of thing um so I'm going along to that and then I'm gonna go to get my ring resized and valued because we've not actually had the valuation of it yet which has taken us a little while it probably shouldn't have taken us this long I've had it for a couple of months main thing is that I need it resized and it has been every weekend that I've gone to go do it it's been like 40 degrees and I don't feel like I'll get an accurate sizing of my finger because my hands will be swollen and that was what happened initially when they sized it it was a really hot day and my hands were swollen so it fitted me perfectly on the day but when i've come to actually wearing it especially when it's a bit colder i've got a um like spacer thing on it at the moment so i'm going to try do that today um i'll show you my outfit so i actually got this top from favorite daughter it's actually a charlie holiday one um but got this one as a co-ord from there. So I'm hoping for more things from this brand. I love it. Um, white denim skirt, some sort of shoes. Not worked it out yet, sandals probably. Probably my Arj ones. My Oraton bag probably. Sunglasses, and then we'll be going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, so I felt too awkward to talk it through whilst I was in there, but here we have the first dress. Um, really love this style, but I just didn't feel like it suited my tummy. Um, showed all my lumps and bumps, so unfortunately it's a no-go, but it's so sad because this is exactly the sort of dress which I have been really wanting for a while, but no, nah, not going to happen. Next one, similar problem, another beautiful um, fabric I see through here. Um, and yeah, it's just, again, shows a lot of lumps, bumps. I just don't think it's as flattering on me as it would be on other people. Um, beautiful dress, but unfortunately, no. Here we have a skirt from Nude Lucy. Absolutely love this. Um, I've been wanting this for a while. I'm really pleased to find it in the sale for 49 bucks. Um, so yeah, this is a definite yes. Feel fantastic. Gonna wear it with loads of things. A nimble set. I really like the top here. Um, really nice tealy kind of colour. Shorts were really nice. Really vibed it, but I don't need any shorts this colour. Um, love the back on this top. Just think it's really flattering. Really comfortable. Yes, no to the shorts. And another pair of nimble shorts. These are just gorgeous. Love the like watercolour pattern on them. Really flattering. Really comfortable. Absolute yes, really happy. <laughs> and finally, a Ina Pelly um, sweater, a very cool pattern on the back with a motorcycle. Um, this was, I think, a hundred bucks, so a bit more, um, but really comfortable. Gonna do me very well in the winter season. Definitely buying. Hello, that was very productive. Um, I'm very excited about all of that stuff. But I've been wanting some more like fancy bike shorts. Um, yeah, exciting. Hello loves, I'll just take this off for a sec. It is all go. So I had a very successful trip to Angove Street Collective, got a table lamp for our like new coffee making setup. Um, I'm now in Subi, gonna find a toilet and then I need to go get my engagement ring sorted. So i um, speak to you soon. So I'm done. Um, that was nice and quick and easy. And for now, I've got my smaller, um, older engagement ring, which feels really weird to wear, um, but it will only be for a week or so. I'm now going to go home. I feel like I've done enough errands and stuff um, and think I'm going to get stuck into a bit of... I feel like today I need to get the wedding planner appointed um, and maybe start the conversations with her over this weekend. What else to say? Both of the outlet sort of sales that I went to this morning were so good. Would definitely recommend these things. It's really hard to keep your finger on the pulse with. It was just that because they were advertised on Instagram to me and I was like, oh, okay, perfect. Um, but I'm now following both of them so that if anything comes up again, then I can go to them um, and just went early in the morning ish, early ish. But yeah, the Angove Street one was amazing. Like if I had a full house to you know, decorate, it would be incredible. But I just got a little lamp for the coffee machine um, sort of setup that we've got. Um, I might also order some, I need some new legs for that because it is currently too low and I need it to be at um, kind of kitchen worktop height, um, which it's currently not. It's pretty low because it's just like console table. So I'm gonna order some bigger legs for those um, and get that set up because I think that will look really nice once that area is properly set up and it's really made a difference to our kitchen area. And then I will tidy and have a bit of a chill day, I think. I just need to, you know, get my head down and get stuck into a few things. So, yep, I'm gonna drive home now. I'll probably be a little bit quiet when um, we get home because Jake is sleeping. So I might not vlog a huge amount, but we will see. See you then. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning. 
It's International Polar Bear Day when we give a cautious hug to these fluffy white giants. The annual Bear Care event encourages humans to cut down their carbon footprint. I mean footprint. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> Good morning, pals. Um, happy Sunday. Um, you may be wondering what the abrupt ending was to yesterday's vlog. Um, I had a, yeah, a bit of a derailed Saturday, to be honest. Um, after I got home from shopping, I, you know, just padded about the apartment a bit. Um, yeah, did a few jobs, tidied up a little bit made some lunch, stuff like that, and whilst I was doing it I noticed that I had a bit of a like tickle in my throat and I'd had a bit of a tight chest the night before but I thought it was just because I'd done that big workout because um, unsurprisingly that left me pretty out of puff um, and so then yesterday when I got a bit of a sore throat and I had a bit of a cough I was like oh no because um, Covid cases are really ramping up here um, and it's gone from kind of 20 cases a day, literally two weeks ago, to um, about a thousand cases a day. So I was like, right, okay, no, I need to go get tested. So when I got tested and just then chilled all afternoon, you know, self-isolated and stuff, um, I didn't really do anything interesting and didn't really feel like vlogging. Um, and especially if it was positive, I was just gonna ditch the vlog. <coughs> um, because I thought that that wouldn't be very interesting um, so yeah but it's come back this morning as negative which is um, good news sort of I was kind of actually I don't know if this is strange but I was kind of hoping for it to be sorry I was kind of hoping for it to be positive in a way reason being is because we're like traveling back to the UK later on this year and I know that it's going to be getting increasingly stressful for me thinking what if we get COVID like just before we're due to fly or when we're over there and then can't get back like I would much rather know that I've like had it dealt with it <laughs> and also just like at the moment if we were to get it now there's nothing you know it wouldn't make us cancel any plans like it wouldn't stand in the way of it like as times go for convenience to get struck by a pandemic like it would be fine with my current schedule but yeah it's come back negative so it's just a good old-fashioned cold which I've not had in a very long time actually um and I did feel like yesterday the symptoms felt very covid -y, but anyway um so I'm still gonna kind of take it easy today but I think we're gonna go for brunch shortly because I've been craving congee for a little while and especially when you're Feeling a little bit under the weather, congee will just be amazing. Jake's just got back from night shift, bless him, so he's gonna, you know, get showered, sort himself out a bit. Um, and then we will head out. And later on, I think we're gonna go to the South Perth food markets, which again is just out on the foreshore, it's beautiful. So should be a really nice day, actually. I don't know what we're gonna do in between times. Jake will probably be sleeping, um, and I should definitely do some of the admin that I put off yesterday. Um, so yeah. Happy Sunday. Hello, I'm just getting ready trying to style my new skirt and I was like trying to work out how fit girls tuck in. What's it, what's it? Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. How do they tuck in t-shirts? Jake was like, do you need to tuck it in? I was like, yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> Looks terrible. Don't take fashion advice from him. <laughs> Hello, we've managed it. Um, good old YouTube tutorials. Um, I've done like a twizzle and a twizzle and then a tuck and I've got a crop top on underneath that I've tucked it into. Hope I explained that correctly. Um, and then we've got old Mella sunglasses. Look at the cute. Um, the new Lucy skirt that I bought yesterday, which I am vibing. This is exactly the outfit which I was picturing um, to wear it with, I, let's zoom out, um, I saw a girl wearing basically exactly this outfit probably a year ago and ever since I've been wanting a skirt like this, um, they just never had it in stock so bonus points that I managed to get it in the sale. I've got Burks on, feel like they look okay, it's a love-hate thing, um, and then I wanted to ask, I have this necklace on which is a really cheap one from H&M 
which I love, but it's really badly tarnished because I've worn it to death. What I'm looking for is a good quality version of this necklace. Um, literally exactly the same, um, but made out of like plated gold or gold or whatever. If you know where I can get one from, please, or even just point me in the direction because I find it really difficult to find like Australian jewellery brands. Obviously I don't want to spend like, probably want to spend maximum 100 to 150 dollars on it um let me know if you can think of anywhere then that would be amazing um so now we are going to go for brunch let me just show you my fig tree sorry completely distractible but look how well my fig tree is doing um and we've got a rubber plant and that is just a little <laughs> a pile of receipts um <laughs> and that is just a little humidifier that we use um whilst we're sleeping because the ac is super drying but actually these plants thrive off it like this um plant used to be outside and then it got really crispy so we've brought it inside and it is thriving it's so cute i say thriving maybe i'll find a picture of what it looked like before anyway i'm gonna have to go bye <laughs> That was absolutely delicious, delunctuous, delightful. I love it. Um, we are now going to go home, pop this one to bed, and then <laughs> I'm wondering whether to go for a cycle. But it is, the car's saying 30. The watch is saying 28. It's pretty hot, but I feel like it might be quite nice. Uh, I can sweat out my cold. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? I've had lemongrass and ginger tea. You just want to go to bed. Bye. Hello, this might be one of my worst ideas with a cold, I don't know yet. Um, but I'm gonna go out for a cycle. I've got my new activewear set on, which I bought yesterday at that sale. Um, got my headphones in, ready to listen to a podcast and do my usual, I've got like a standard loop that I do around the um, river. <laughs> I always wanna call it a lake. Yeah, around the river, which is just beautiful. It's a bit hot, but I'm gonna take plenty of water and it should be lovely. lovely swim um and like half an hour down by the pool filled in another form for another um wedding planner um i'm really <sighs> just trying to find the right one um and i feel like i need to get another quote in basically so filled in a form for that um listened to a podcast had a little swim um and then now i've got to go get ready to go pick up a woolies order <laughs> not very exciting um but Sunday jobs. Hello! You'd be forgiven for thinking that this is this morning because I'm in exactly the same outfit. Um, is it weird to get out of an outfit to 
you know, go do exercise and then get back into the same outfit. I don't know, it's clean on today. Um, right, I'm gonna go down to the storeroom, take our, what does it say, Lilo? Rubber ring downstairs, take the rubbish out, and then go to Woolies. And um, I did a, like, pick up, like, delivery to boot um, order yesterday in case we needed to get friends to pick that up today if I was self-isolating, if the test results came back positive. They've not, so I can go get it myself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. So join me in the car. I'm sorry, I seem to have a, just a block of amnesia when it comes to filming supermarket trips and things I really intended. I did nip into Woolies and get, um, we needed an extension cable, so I went in for those. And I, uh, <laughs> Jake says hello. And I, forgot to film I, I think because I've just always got like mission brain um but I did even walk into the shop and had to text Jake and be like why am I in the shop what do I need um thankfully he is like, I kind of outsource my thinking to him so he was able to tell me but yeah so I've been come back um and now just popping on some makeup and we are going to go to the South Perth for sure uh, sunset markets which we went to a couple of weeks ago and it was absolutely lovely going there with a couple of friends and their little baba um so yeah should be nice i'm just gonna throw some makeup on and i'm gonna go in this outfit i think we are just packing up stuff to go and i thought i would mention um so we've got you know blanket um picnic blanket and stuff um and i'm gonna take with me where did this wine go this wine um you can drink there like it's byo so all good the uh, reason i'm telling you about it is because we have this um subscription with good pair days um i started it we started it in oh for christmas so i got the first box as like a christmas present for me and jake and we have just carried on with it i absolutely love it so i think we've had four three or four boxes now and it is so good so they send you you can choose how many, not an ad, um, but you can choose how many um, different wines you get and the sort of mix. So we tend to get two reds, one white, one rosé, because that's the sort of split that we usually go for with our wines. And they give you, so a card, this is um, all four for the recent box that we got, a card which tells you everything about it, including um you know how dry it is what the body is acidity all of that and then it also gives you a card teaching you sort of the flavors that you should be looking out for and how you know just a bit more depth into how wine's made and everything like that so that you can become a bit more knowledgeable basically then they also give you a food pairing um so a recipe for each one sorry um so we initially um we're going to take a rosé with us which is this one um however the recipe with that is a quick asian beef salad and we think we actually will make that some of them we don't really make so i've got one here which is um pork and parsnip tray bake because jake's veggie and there's not really a decent alternative to you know a um what is this that doesn't even have the pork in the pork. oh pork chops yeah the, the veggie option um for a pork shop doesn't exist but then the white one which we're taking today is coconut lime and coriander chicken which to be fair sounds really good we probably could do that with corn but i think it will go very nicely so i'm taking that bottle of wine and taking this card and a couple of plastic glasses um and we're going to do that whilst we're there which will be lovely hello we are at the um, sunset market i'm not going to film too much of our friends or anything um we're just watching the little baba um and I've got my wine, which is really tasty. It's nice and buttery. Um, and we've not decided this is the market. Um, and I'll show you around later on. She's so cute. Okay, bye.
are home now after a lovely evening over at the foreshore with the uh, little market and I think I'm going to end this video here because I am tired and I need to wash my hair and things and get ready for work in the morning. Um, so thank you so much for watching, really hope that you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you for my next one. And sorry, quick one. We've got our little setup. Which is looking very cute, actually. This is the light that I bought um, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Obviously, going to sort out the wire I bought an extension cable, so I was just impatient to try it. Um, and that, let me know what you think of this setup. That is actually a plant pot that I've turned upside down. But I think it's really nice. I felt like it needed some height. Um, and then we're going to get a grinder probably at some point soon to go here and then I'm thinking some art to add a bit of height and these are going to become eucalyptus swapped out for eucalyptus but yeah it's cute I like it but yeah anyway I was distracted okay thank you so much for watching see you soon bye